Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 18 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Marvin Vittori! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is underway. We'll see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Big punch lands through the middle. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Just missed with the left there. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and is going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Nice body kick there. to the body now is blocked. Right 
right hand upstairs. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, he lands that teak. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that this boxing looked this show. Never looked this good. And both guys really throwing with authority. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Whiffs on that offering. Right hand punch for the clinch. Oh, man, look at that picture. Perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Back to the feet now. Missed with that right hand. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Big kick lands. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Big ball from punch land. Now we get back in range. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big head kick lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. And they separate. Big kick. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Good stick. Oh, great combination. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh. And he landed the right hand there. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. All right, let us now check out some of the action, DC, and what a display of body striking there in that previous round. I mean, the last time I saw this done at this level was Valentina Shevchenko and Jessica I. Body kick, body kick, body kick. Eventually look for him to go over the top to try to end the fight. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Just unable to quite find that range. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice head kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got 
got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Punch over the top. Nice head kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, nice straight left. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Lee's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Now connects with a right. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Out of range with that one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. All right, single collar tie now. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Nice defense there. Huge block. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Dig and kick. Overhand left counter. Back and forth we go. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop the He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nice punch lands. Right under the elbow of the land. Switching stances here. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Caught that kick there. Nice leg kick lands. Straight punch lands. He has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Nice head kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Real nice body play. Nice straight punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. Before you know it, boom, he lands. Ten minutes in the books. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked Ready? about his powerful kicks, Ready? how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. 
What a body kick. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's throwing. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Oh, that right hand is on point. It's a good right hand right there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. The strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Just missed with that right hand. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Back and forth we go. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Nice sneaky head kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Head kick blocked. Look at the turtle in that kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. To throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, he hurt it bad with a jab. Big punch land. Just misses with the straight left hand. his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Effective punch there by Lee. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And that one certainly found the target. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. There's another one. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Big head kick lands. 20 seconds left. There's no kill on that leg. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Final seconds of round three. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds.
All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Settle down. Listen, he's landing way too many body shots, right? Way too many. You're way too good. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Luke. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done. Off and done. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there, and... Offensively, he hasn't been a wool beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. We've got to whip his hip into that kick. Get out of there! Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Great punch landed with so much power. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block shot that's incoming. Nice kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, what a punch. Right hand upstairs. Lee's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Throwing both sides with conviction. Lands with the right hand. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. What a punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Great time. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Just misses with the right. Big head kick land. Just out of range with that right hook. Kick to the body by Lee. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Big leg kick lands. Got clipped with the right hand. 30 seconds remain in the round. Oh, 
on. He connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Listen to me, you're losing. You gotta go out there and just strike it. You gotta put together All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Huge block there. Great punch. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, fatigue is certainly a factor here down the stretch. He is losing the fight. He is completely out of gas. I mean, he's been out class. He's taken so much damage. He threw everything he could to try to survive, but now he's completely out of air, and it's only a matter of time. Nice punch lands over the top. Right punches there. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Big kick land. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Oh, nice right hand. Head kick partially blocked. Lands the right hand. And there comes the separation now. Leg kick. Three minutes now to go on the fight. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Beautiful strike. Oh, straight right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Well, he's got to be on top of the world, dominating this fight. The stamina still on point. He didn't skip those versa climber days, that's for sure. No, this has to feel good. This has to feel like everything we did in training camp has worked to perfection. Look for him to try to replicate that before his next fight. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Lance, a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Liver kick. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Good. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket at both landing. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Big kick lands. 
And now he's got the tie clutch. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Luke. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finisher, you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go for the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta put everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. No problem. 20 seconds left. Big strike right there. Final seconds of the fight. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter team. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity